Hello, in this episode of the Zero Waste series, I'm going to be talking about pets and trash. Going to start off by talking about pets, I do have two pet guinea pigs, and for their litter, I use a recycled newspaper pellet. So this is the brand I use. There's many brands that sell this, so use whichever brand works best for you. But the pellets look like this, and they come in this recycled paper bag, and I can recycle this bag itself. Um, and with the litter, since it is paper, I do compost it. There's not many pets waste that you can compost. Most of them you can't. Guinea pigs, I do uh, compost them just because they have a vegetarian diet. I know exactly what they're eating and they can't get any food that I don't get them, give them. Um, then for my dogs, I have two dogs and I give them baths regularly and I, instead of getting the shampoo bottles, have switched over to a shampoo that's designed for dogs. And I just find it really convenient because with the old shampoo bottles, I would open up the cap, spray it on the dog, scrub it in, and I'd always run out of soap and have my soapy hands all wet trying to open up the bottle and spray more soap on the dogs. So that wasn't very convenient, and I felt like I went through the shampoo bottles really quickly. With this, it lasts a long time, and I don't have to worry about opening a bottle up and everything. I just constantly am rubbing my dog, and it's dispensing soap as I go. Uh, so it's very convenient. Now for trash. I always use a reusable bag when I go shopping, so I don't have any small plastic shopping bags. So instead, I have two different solutions for my small trash bins. I have a reusable liner, so I don't line it with any bags or anything. I just can pull this out and wash it with warm soapy water and let it dry if it gets dirty. And then if you're uncomfortable with having an unlined bin like that, there's a lot of people that will line their bins with newspaper. So you can do this instead. Now, I do end up bagging all of my trash before bringing it to the curb just because I don't want any loose trash to accidentally escape when it's getting tossed into the trash truck or as the trash truck's moving around because any small pieces that get loose could be pollution and they could be stay around for a long time or break into small pieces and get into the environment. And I don't want that. So I do use big trash bags. Uh, we actually still have trash bags from before we went zero waste in 2018. But you can also buy bags with a purpose and know that you're going to reuse them. So an example of this is I buy pretzels in bulk online and they come in this big plastic bag and I will be using this as a trash bag uh, at some point. So I am holding on to this bag. It brought me my food and I'm going to reuse it. And on trash day, I do collect all the small trash bins that I have in the house. I put them all into the single bag. And I only bring down our trash to the uh, curb for pickup about once every six weeks. We have been able to reduce our waste that much. And we got the smallest size trash bin that they offer, which fits about two of the regular large size trash bags. So that's it for my zero waste series uh, showing off my items. If you want more materials and to learn more about zero waste, I am going to be doing a deeper dive into not only this topic, but more in, as it pertains to zero waste. And those will, videos will be available on the St. Louis Zoo's website. I hope you had fun following this, and I hope I gave you some helpful tips in your journey to zero waste. Um, don't worry, just pick a goal, work on it. Once you've made it a habit, then work on the next goal. You don't have to try to jump right in. It is a journey. So. Have fun. Thank you. Bye.